tough to come out on the, on the downside of it, obviously, but uh, we're proud of how our guys competed and the poise they showed under pressure uh, down the stretch, not just this game, but in, in throughout the playoffs. Uh, but uh, obviously I'm disappointed in the result. Questions at this time for Coach Whitehead? Rich. Coach, Coach Johnson, Boston Hill. Just comment on seeing a blue jersey in this building for you tonight. Yeah, we really, really gave our team a lift. It really, many times, uh, last night and tonight, you know, it really felt like home game sometimes. We were really uh, inspired by, by the turnout from our main fans and uh, really gave us a lift and a lot of, really a big reason why we were able to come back, I think, on several occasions tonight. Just that inspiration from our fans has really meant a lot to us. Kevin? Coach, can you talk about the way your team was able to respond? I think three times you guys scored a goal uh, within a minute or so after PC exploded. Yeah, no, it's a, you know, certainly that's a good sign every time we can bounce back after a goal again. So uh, there certainly wasn't any quit in our team, and uh, we're very proud of how our guys competed and how they, uh, they fought right to the last uh, whistle tonight. We're going to open up uh, questions for, uh, for Tanner. Tim, Tim Rose from the on Side Hockey. Uh, Tanner, um, when you guys had the game at 6-6 going, six, six going into the locker room, uh, what's the atmosphere in the locker room uh, like going into the uh, overtime area? Was it, um, well, was it up the heat? Or was it still uh, close to on the test in hand? What was it? Um, we, we were really excited. You know, um, you know, it was our goal to make it a long goal game, something like that. Uh, but, um, you know, halfway through that uh, intermission, we refocused. You know, it was going to be... Uh, no hard fought battle, and um, you know we were ready to go. Brian, Brian O'Connor, ESPN.com. Tanner, uh, I know it's still pretty raw, but uh, you guys had a great run. Is that something? You know, being a junior and a captain, is that something you, you build on? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, we definitely want to build on that. I think last year uh, we had a you know a, a late spurt as well against BU, and I think we build off that this year. So, you know, we made it that much further this year. So, uh, um, you know, the guys returning definitely want to make it back. Uh, you know, because it's things real bad. So, we want to be back here next year. More questions for the student athletes? Nancy? Nancy, yes, Matt, this is Ron Boston. Go I was just wondering if you could talk here about the contribution from your goaltender. He came into a very difficult situation and just, I noticed you guys all, you know, made an extra special time to go over and talk to him after the game. Yeah, you know, um, He's had a you know up and down career here. It's really battled hard, uh, you know, backing up you know Bishop at first, and then you know Scotty coming in as freshman, and he, and he took that really well. You know, he uh, you know in practice and stuff, he's always working hard, and we, we were we were confident in him coming into playoffs, and he stepped up huge for us. Uh, you know, we're really proud of him, but we had no doubt in our minds he was able to do that. Rachel. Rachel, then from Portland, Carol. How would you describe the playoff work as a whole? You know, from the end of the regular season series against the UMass to this point. Um, I think it was just no quit. Like uh, this team just we found ways to win. We battled back from uh, you know a lot of deficits uh, in that game three at home. We were down a, a goal and then and then uh, we scored, tied up, and then we're down again, scored, tied up again. So. Uh, you know, we were down and then we won OT, and then tonight I think goes to show, you know, the way uh, we battled through adversity and just kept coming back and we were hanging around. Um, you know, the guys just battled so hard for each other and uh, we just wouldn't quit. More questions for the student athletes? Dave? Dave Hendrickson, U.S. Pops Hockey Online. Joey, can you just talk about how the way that this team kept coming back after it got knocked down was maybe much like uh, a lot of the season has gone for you? Yeah, well, we always knew, uh, we always found a way to come back and win in games, and we've done that many a time. So we never uh, got out of control, really. We just uh, kept our cool, and, uh, you know, we, we knew down two goals in five minutes. We, one shot and came up from Spencer Abbott, and we knew uh, right in that, but in, I mean, we knew we could get, definitely get another one, so. Anything else final for the student athletes? Mike, go back. Uh, my back in uh, college on the news, uh, the power play in the first period kind of struggled with the second period. You guys really got it going. Uh, what changed in the second period? Um, just, uh, I think our breakout, we weren't breaking out uh, enough. We weren't getting pucks in deep. We were kind of 
cutting it, uh, stopping in short towards the uh, that blue line and everything. But um, I think we just had to get pucks deep, get grinded out in the corners, and we uh, we ended up doing that and being successful successful with it in the second period. Andy in the front. Andy Merritt, New England Hockey Journal. Joey, if you can kind of elaborate on that a little bit as well. BC's penalty kill was really aggressive and, and really, um, they, they came out to meet your, your defensemen and, and really kind of moved around a lot. Did that make it difficult to get anything going when you were in the offensive zone on the power play? Um, yeah, a little bit. We knew we had to support each other uh, when we knew they were going to be um, very aggressive. Uh, we watched video and everything. and. Uh, we, um, we just knew if we got the puck down low, we have to work it down low first and then maybe get it up to the top. But uh, we wound up working it down low, grinding out in the corners, and we just made a nice pass to 10 and put it in. Yeah, yeah, I suppose it could be. Yeah, it, uh, it definitely felt that way this year. We, we, we knew we had the makings of something special this year, and we were very determined not to get knocked down uh, no matter how many times. Not not, we were very determined to get back up, I should say, every time we got knocked down. And, and I'm proud of the guys that they did it, you know, early in the season, uh, on and off the ice. They, you know, and, and Tanner did an unbelievable job as a, you know, as a captain, along with our seniors, really led by example, even though know, they didn't have a letter on their shirt. Jeff Gibbon is an assistant captain. I didn't say it was really a team effort, but. Um, we were, as a coaching staff, really impressed with how how uh, determined they were not to to let things go. We just kept coming back and coming back. So uh, it, it was a it was a really enjoyable season to coach.